Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning young scientists And all the judges of Indonesian Science Project Olympiad 2022 My name is Ifa Fauziah Maula And my name is Arlia Wia Azka And we are from Islamic State, State Senior, Senior High School, School Tokudus On this occasion, we are going to present our scientific research project Under the title of Biogansa, Innovation of Tuber Root and Lemon Rastap as bioacaricidal tool against tropical climate infestation to improve the welfare of Kampung chicken ranchers in Kudus Regency. Indonesia is an agrarian country where part of the population lives as farmers and ranchers. So, the development of livestock has very potential prospect. Broiler chicken and cow chicken are the examples of livestock that have a market value and exist in Indonesia. Based on the data from Central Bureau of Statistics, the population of broiler chicken in Indonesia in 2019 was 3.14 billion heads, and the population of kampung chicken was 312 million heads. On the other hand, there is a serious problem in livestock. It is the infestation of ectoparasites that has been proven to reduce livestock productivity and cause death, which can be detrimental to ranchers. One type of ectoparasites that often infest kampung chicken is tropical fowl mite. The control of tropical fowl mite is usually done by using synthetic acaricide. However, according to at all 2020, the intensive use of synthetic acaricide can cause negative impacts in the form of resistance of mice to acaricide and environmental pollution. Tuber root and lemongrass stock are potentially to be natural acaricide. To reduce the harm effects of synthetic acaricide, natural acaricide are needed. According to Hashim et al. 2017, the active substance content in tuber root, namely retinol, can inhibit cellular respiration, having an impact on liver tissue and muscle cell that cause insects to stop eating and leading to deaths in insects. Besides, Lagomon Gersta contains effective compounds, for example, citronellol, cridoniol, citronellol, and citral, which are toxic to insects. From the previous background, we want to know, first, what are the compounds in the extract of tuber root and lemongrass stock that have the best level of toxicity on tropical fall mine infestation on common chicken? The second, how is the ability of tuber root and lemongrass stock the organicide on tropical fall mine infestation on common chicken? Research methodology. Our research is an experimental research. We started by preparing tools and materials. The tuber roots and lemongrass stalks that have been cleaned are then dried using an oven. The tuber roots and lemongrass stalks will ground and sieve to obtain a homogeneous simplicia. The simplicia was then macerated using 96% alcohol in a ratio of 1 of 5 for 24 hours. The maceration result of tuber roots and lemongrass stalks were homogenized using a magnetic stirrer. Then, evaporated to get a thick extract. And, this is the result of thick extract. Phytochemical tests on this research showed positive results for alkaloids, tokonoids, tannins, saponin, and triterpenoids. Here are the results of the gas chromatography mass spectrometer test of our tuba root and lemongrass stock extract. There are several dominant compounds contained in the extract. They are 1 naphthalenol, 2 naphthalenol, toreol, gamasenol, ortahydropentrin, temuraol, and ticarbonitril. According to National Center of Biotechnology Information, naphthalenol can be used as insecticide metabolites, insecticide and insecticide degradants. According to Epinoza et al. 2018, toreol can be used as an antifedrin for the heads of chorus, the mesenon can be an attractant for the insect. Next, bioacaricide application on kampu chicken was carried out with negative control treatment, biogasa treatment, and positive control treatment. The results were observed by the amount of printing behavior of the kampu chicken. 
On the first day, the printing activity for biogansa treatment had the lowest average and the negative control has the highest average. On the second day, there was an increase in the average printing activity of negative and positive control treatment and a slight increase in the biogansa treatment. On the third day, there was a decrease in the average printing activity in the negative control treatment, biogansa treatment, and positive control treatment. A very significant decrease in printing activity occurred in the biogansa treatment. Based on the result in the picture, the LC50 value of sample 1 and sample 2 are 69.86 ppm and 37.56 which suggests that both are toxic. It concludes that the concentration which can kill 50% of the tropical format is the concentration of 69.86 ppm D. Concentration of 37.56 ppm also has the potential to kill the tropical format. Based on the research, we can make conclusion first. Based on the DCMS test, the tuber root and lemongrass stock extract contain compounds that may act as an acaricide in the occurrence of ectoparasite infestation, namely 1-naphtalenol, 2-naphtalenol, toreol, and damascenone. Second, it is proven that biogansa can reduce tropical formant infestation. It can be seen in the decrease in printing activity of caramel chicken. Biogansa ability can also be seen from the toxicity test of tropical formite with an LC50 value of 69.86 ppm and a BSLT toxicity test with an LC50 value of 37.56 ppm which states that Biogansa is toxic. So, it is effectively used as a tropical formite bioacaricide and environmentally friendly. That's all the results of our scientific research project. Thank you for your attention. And the last but not least, Biogansa, easy, easy to, to use, use friendly to nature. nature. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.